Morning. Morning. Thanks so much for joining us here in New York City and for those on the live stream for joining us around the world. Thanks so much. Stadia will be available on November 19th. So you'll be able to play games wherever you want, on your TV, your laptop, even your Pixel, which will be the first phone to support Stadia when it launches. We really wanted it to just be a simple, tiny little dot floating in your ear. Because there's like two computers in here. What we've managed to do here is not just make great headphones, but really putting in all of the other things that are uniquely Google about this, the ability to process your voice Hello. and to make a call clear even when you're riding a bicycle down the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, OK. So you can get hands-free access to the assistant. So instead of turning to your phone for quick tasks, you can just say, hey, Google, and ask the assistant for whatever you need. Resume your podcast, send a quick text, get directions, or even understand another language with Google Translate. Pixel Buds even have a long-range Bluetooth connection, which keeps you connected even when your phone isn't by your side. So you can wear them in the yard when your phone might be charging inside, or leave your phone in a locker if you're working out in a gym. Indoors, Pixel Buds will stay connected up to three rooms away. And outside, they'll work across an entire football field. You'll have five hours of continuous listening time on a single charge, and up to 24 hours when you're using a wireless charging case. Pixel Buds will be available in the spring of next year, and we'll share more details in the coming months, including a few of the helpful experiences that make good use of the on-device machine learning chips. Pixelbook Go. The design is so distinctive with an incredibly light magnesium that lets us create a very smooth matte finish in great colors. Pixelbook Go comes in just black and not pink, one of the iconic colors we introduced on Pixel 3. And we created a new rippled, wavy bottom that's easy to grip. Pixelbook Go is lighter than Pixelbook, but we still managed to add a battery that is 15% larger, making it easier to keep working all day. We also spent a lot of time making sure the keyboard is comfortable and quiet. We took all of our learnings from the original Pixelbook and really refined the design. We ended up with keys that feel great to use and are even quieter than the original. And with Chrome OS, Pixelbook Go is always fast, secure, and all your devices stay in sync with each other. Everything about Pixelbook Go is designed to address real user needs for an affordable price. You can pre-order it now in just black, with not pink coming soon. Now, for a lot of people, Google Home Mini was a perfect starter kit for your audio system. And today, we're introducing the next generation, Nest Mini. It's even more capable with the same affordable price point and the same iconic design. And you now have a new color option called Sky. Now, we also heard from you, you want a little more flexibility of where to place Mini. So we added a simple wall mount. It really looks great anywhere in your home. 2x stronger bass and even more clear and natural sound. And for those times when your home gets loud, like it does at mine, we added a third mic to hear you better in noisy environments. There's a dedicated machine learning chip with up to one tera ops of compute. So for the first time, core experiences of the Google Assistant can come from the data center and be moved instead to run locally on your device. Finally, Nest Mini also powers an amazing home communication system, a home intercom so you can talk room to room, a home alert system telling you who's at the front door, a home phone allowing you to call anyone in the world for free using Google Duo. I can even use my phone to call my Nest devices. It works great for those times I'm leaving work and I want to ask the family what they want for dinner. So today, we're announcing a new whole home pricing model. For one monthly rate, you get Nest Aware support across all your Nest devices in your home. 
So whether you have two cameras or you have 10 cameras, you pay the same monthly rate. And you can choose between two different pricing plans depending on your needs. We even added more video history. The new Nesta Wear will be rolling out early next year, and it'll be easy to switch over your existing plan. We use on-device AI, sound detection AI, to pick up critical sounds like barking dogs or smoking carbon monoxide alarms, and we send an alert to your phone. So now in one go, even those basic smoke alarms become smart smoke alarms. And when you get an alert, you have the option to hear the alert or listen live to confirm the alarm. Now, if it is an emergency, the whole map can see. The whole map can directly connect you to the 911 call center closest to you, regardless of where in the world you are. Now, these notifications will be part of the new home app, uh, which actually includes a new feature called the home feed. It brings together all the notifications and snippets from your devices, organizes them, and highlights the important stuff. So you can quickly see priority items, or you get a general recap of the day. Today, we're also updating the hardware with Nest Wi-Fi. Now, the Nest Wi-Fi system is actually two devices. The router plugs into your modem and creates a powerful home network. The point expands your coverage. And our updated hardware and software delivers up to 2x the speed and up to 25% better coverage. So now, the Nest Wi-Fi system only needs one router and one point to cover around 85% of homes in the US. With the Google Home app, you can set up your Nest Wi-Fi uh, network in minutes. And once you're set up, it's easy to share your Wi-Fi password, manage your network, set a schedule for the kids, or create a guest network. Lastly, we added a Google Assistant smart speaker to the Nest Wi-Fi point. So it does everything the Nest Mini does. Plays your music with great sound, provides answers to your questions, and lets you control smart devices with just your voice. So that's the new Nest Wi-Fi. Better coverage, smart home support, and the Google Assistant. It'll be available starting on November 4th. Pixel 4 introduces entirely new helpful experiences with more natural interactions. It's a completely redesigned with a new look, a new color, and a beautiful new finish. Pixel 4 is the first smartphone with a radar sensor. It powers the new motion sense capabilities for more human interactions with your phone. For instance, Pixel 4 has the fastest secure face unlock on a smartphone because the process starts before you've even picked up your phone. Motion Sense prepares the camera when you reach for your Pixel 4 so you don't need to tap the screen. It's so much faster and smoother. Motion Sense can power down your phone when you walk away and turn it back on when you approach your phone. It also lets you control your Pixel with simple gestures. Swipe to skip a song, silence a call, wave hello to Pikachu. <laughs> you can turn Motion Sense on or off at any time. And when it's on, all of the sensor's data is processed right on your Pixel. It's never saved or shared with other Google services. Just give Pixel 4 a quick squeeze. Show me Maggie Rogers on Twitter. What are her concert dates? Share this with Vivian. Reply, let's go see her. Open Ticketmaster.com. Search for Maggie Rogers events. We've had a Pixel 4 recording the show for the past few minutes. As you can see, with one tap, I can get recorder transcribing my words in real time as I'm saying them. Now, to show this is live, it is now 1044. And it's pretty accurate. This means you can transcribe meetings, lectures, interviews, or anything you want to save. Eric Backstage is going to save this recording. And now I can go into the search bar and find whatever I'm looking for. I can search for sounds, words, phrases. Let's see all the times I've mentioned Pixel across my entire library of recordings. 
The places where the word pixel are said are highlighted in yellow in the playback bar, so you can dive into the exact part of the recording you're looking for. It's pretty cool. And you'll notice this phone is actually in airplane mode. All this recorder functionality happened on device. Pixel 4 is also our first smartphone with a 90 hertz refresh rate. And we've added some smarts. The refresh rate adjusts on its own depending on what you are doing. So you get a great visual experience while still preserving battery life. The new Pixel comes in three colors, just black, clearly white, and a limited edition called Oh So Orange. It also comes in two sizes, both with the same features and both available for pre-order starting today. Shipping starts on October 24th. So Pixel 4 is now available through every major US carrier. When you tap the shutter button, we capture a burst of up to nine pictures. These pictures are deliberately underexposed to avoid blowing out highlights. We align them using software and average them, which reduces noise in the shadows. This lets us brighten the shadows, giving you detail in both the highlights and the shadows. In fact, there's a simple formula. Noise goes down as the square root of the number of images you average together. So if you use nine images, you get one third as much noise. On the left is our raw output if you enable that in the app. So Pixel 4 has a roughly 2x telephoto lens plus our super res zoom technology. In other words, a hybrid of optical and digital zoom, which we use on both the main and telephoto lenses so you get sharp imagery throughout the zoom range. You probably think this is a 1x photo. It's not. It's a zoom taken from way back here. Super res zoom is real multi-frame super resolution, meaning that pinch zooming before you take the shot gives you a sharper photo than cropping afterwards. So don't crop like this. Compose the shot you want by pinch zooming. We're using machine learning to approximate HDR plus in the viewfinder. So you get our signature look while you compose your shot. Pixel 4 has dual exposure controls. Here's an example. This is a nice HDR plus shot, but maybe you would like to try it as a silhouette. So you tap on the screen and lower the brightness slider a bit. That mainly changes the capture exposure. Then you lower the shadows slider a lot that mainly changes the tone mapping. And voila, you get a different artistic vision. Here's a tough case, an ice cave. It's blue light, but not a blue person. And here's what it looks like with Pixel 4's white balancing. This year, we're computing depth, again using machine learning, from both dual pixels and dual cameras, which gives us accurate depth farther from the camera. This extends portrait mode to large objects and stand further back portraits. You could have taken this dusk shot using Pixel 3 last year. Using Pixel 4, you can take this nighttime picture from the same viewpoint. Digital sensors are prone to hot pixels that are stuck at red, green, or blue. The longer the exposure, the more hot pixels. Our exposures are pretty long, so we need some clever algorithms to remove those hot pixels. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.